lively group here. Tanner just walked in the door. Number two walked in here just a few minutes ago. For like the second time. Becky has been out here for an hour. Over an hour. She was out here for a big shower. She's got her computer over there. She was Skyping with Murphy. It's his birthday. It'd be the first down there in Australia right now. So uh, It kind of worked and then lost it. So now she's trying to set her phone up as a mobile hotspot to see if she can Skype with him a little longer. So kind of the only chance we might have it live is going to be that. But my phone service in here has been so crappy it's not funny. So I'm not sure. I don't think hers is going to work very well. And hey, look, see, number one's even here. Holy shit, he's back. And look at Nick, Sasquatch boy. Hey. <laughs> and you already know Ben was here. So. And Becky keeps saying she's going to start cooking some burgers here, but she's goofing off and says, somebody has to come over and see Murphy. There he is. There's Murphy, everybody. Just chill. If you won't put his own videos up, we got to put him in ours. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll still try to get a live, but God knows it may not do it. But, hey, this will be the last clip for 2021. Maybe I'll get another one. Who knows? You'll see it one way or the other, whether it's this year, next year, maybe never. Well, good morning and hello, 2022. Yeah, we didn't party too bad last night. It's only a little bit. Kind of, excuse me, kind of ended somewhat early. But, hey, fun with friends. I just wanted to see what we got so far out here. And, uh, look at the ground it's solid this morning the weather guessers after what almost two weeks of saying how cold it was going to be yeah they finally got it i left the water in the calf barn on last night why because it hasn't been cold enough for that water to freeze for over a week and now that it hit 26 degrees by 10 o'clock, 26 degrees is the magic number in the calf barn. So you know what I'm doing this morning? Oh yeah, the tin can over there. It's been three or four years since we've had a frozen line in there. The only thing working this morning is the kitchen sink. But before anybody says it, yeah, I never did get the panels up underneath it. But there's one of those panels that's been gone the whole time the trailer's been sitting there. Happens to be an important one, too, because it's right underneath the water tank. And so it's no big deal. I mean, really shouldn't affect it much. Oh, gee, I can't go that way. The radio's gone. <laughs> um, but... When it's been cold before, we've had a little heater in the basement part underneath the bedroom, which happens to be where half the water lines are. Yeah, guess what? We don't even have that little heater anymore. And, oh yeah. That's out here in the cold. She don't like to start in the cold. I might need it, I might not. I don't know. Depends on what I do for sure today. I need to get on it and run it. I've been kind of, you know, waiting for the ground to freeze so I can do a few things out there. Like finish cleaning the cow lot outside. And it doesn't sound like number one's going to be here anytime soon. So not like I can uh, hope that she'll run that thing a little bit. Which means, yeah, another winter of getting nothing done. Oh, well. It is what it is. Hopefully, everybody's 2022 is starting out 
better than mine, but I'm not complaining. I'm just stating some facts. It's not that bad. Nothing we don't deal with anyway. Well, apparently the calves didn't uh, not drink last night. They drank enough that at least the valves to their troughs weren't froze. Two of the ones that aren't hooked up were. I haven't done any watering yet. I just wanted to say, hey, at this 20 degrees and the humidity is lower, this feels better than it has felt in at least two weeks. It really does. It's not wet. I haven't put my gloves on yet this morning, and I've been wearing gloves almost every day because hmm, it's been wet and cold. So, at least one good thing for the new year so far. So, Becky and I were just talking since we had a family shop for a Um The last clip you just watched, in case you didn't notice, how could they not notice? The dog was making a crap. Ed didn't even notice that. I said, I, um, I was looking up at the skyline. He showed me the video when I went. It's Dude, showing you, the you dog, know, the clouds in the sky and how nice it looked this morning. The dog's taking and a crap. Going, um, hey, did you see that? Did you see that? The dog's taking it. <laughs> yep, we caught Red Man. Taking a crap. I'm sure everybody wants to see yep, that. Yep, yep. Just once in a while it happens, right? Good job, Ed. <laughs> So, we're going to go thaw some stuff out here this morning and get some cow's water and get some cattle fed. Yeah, figure out what I'm going to do today. But she totally agrees that this is that nice weather, the cold weather that a lot of y'all get that is a lot drier. It could be 20 below, minus 20 out there, and it would be nice. I could be out there really at, uh, in a t shirt. We, we right both got too much on this morning. I mean, yeah. I, I got the same thing on I've had on for the last two weeks, with the exception of I've got my gator around my neck. But I have a turtleneck, a thermal, long sleeve thermal, and a sweatshirt, and it's actually too much. And she's been dressed like that every day she's come out, literally for the last two and weeks. And been frozen. And yeah. she's been complaining about being cold oh, all coat, day long. I've my coat on too when I'm so, out there. Anyway, that's what we got for you for now. Happy New Year. I want to make sure you get Saw the New Year's gift. God, man. <laughs> That's just wrong. Freaking A. Hopefully I left her better tracks to get in this time. Funny thing with a skidster, I gotta get all the way in. Hey, silence this time. She had to ask a question. Usually going in here and into two-year-olds, I do it so the knots are to this side. So you don't have to walk around the back side of the feeder. Yeah, she still walks around the backside to cut it. And that steer in the middle of the screen looks like he's got a owie on the inside of his left hind. Hmm. Frickin' mud. Probably stepped through the ice and sliced it. I don't know. Don't seem to be bothering him. Well, we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, by the way, you notice I cheated. I put spears on this to feed with. This thing set for a little over an hour after I was moving manure. And uh, yeah, she's still fired up fine. Temp gauge was down to nothing, which I expected. What I didn't expect was the hydraulic wheel cooled off quite a bit. When I dumped the bale in for the steers, it goobered up. And I went to dump this bale in, and I couldn't tip it fast enough. <laughs> but hey, the cows no longer have that big pile of sloppy crap in the corner of the lot. The rest of the lot's like it was. It was froze. I wasn't going to be able to do anything with it, but I got rid of that pile. And they're going to get to go in and have dinner here in just a little bit. We're getting close enough to that time that it's kind of time to, you know, Check on everybody before they go in. We don't have anybody looking close, but well, I shouldn't say that. Went out there swishing her tail. Looks like she's loosening a little bit. Yeah, looks like Amy. She may be one of the first ones to do, and we got a couple heifers that are starting to look a little flush. But freaking two year olds, they'll start looking a little flush anywhere from two to six weeks or even longer beforehand. Look out, dog. 
whiskey gets in my way and I gotta shut the water off before I try to flood the lot again like I did this morning. I did it last night too, you know. Keeping practice. Get my glove hung up on the taking hydrant. So anyway. Looks like Becky's going in there to pull that hose out for me so I don't have to. That's cool. I like that idea. She just got done watering the cows. She didn't put them in the barn. That's okay. We're playing find the hummingbirds. How many hummingbirds? Oh man, find? the ones I was watching just flew off, but another one just flew in. Not too straight in there. Everybody I just see seen that one. Them. See the one on top? Two of them right there in the middle on top. Well, middle of the screen at They're the moment. They're all fluffed up. Poor cold babies. There have been a couple on the very top, and then the others have been landing underneath them and going back and forth from the... Like I said, your mom's your mom's kind of bored. Maybe she should just she should knit them some hoodies. So they one right there warm. on the very top, dead center. And there are a few in that. Just VMO us money. There. We will get uh, we'll get some yarn and we'll make some hoodies for the poor cold hummingbirds. <laughs> I checked the uh, shop fuel tank and, and it's almost empty. So I was dumping some out of the upper tank enough to get by till morning anyway. Becky's going, do you hear that? Yeah, we heard like three or four airplanes for a while. These little buggers are going. Oh, you got to let the cows in. I told her, I, I listen to them every morning. So, like I said, Vimo is some money for some yarn. Yeah, I don't have a Vimo. She does, though. So. I will just uh, make I got some PayPal. hats and scarves for them. Look, look on my about. It's, it's there. Oh, this is the day. It's like 31, 32 degrees for the high. Finally got a little blue sky this afternoon. And bright spot over there. Actually not too bad of a pre-sunset. And it's late now. I'm going to let the cows in the barn. And I'm going to go in and warm up again. So, that would be our day. Chores are done. Watering's done. My twine cutter's got shitty feet. I gotta go check and she's doing laundry too. She better go do that. God knows number two probably needs some of those new clothes they just went and picked up today. <laughs> oh well. Well, I do gotta say for the first day of the new year, it hasn't been a bad day at all. Well, I yeah, didn't clean that lot because, well, time I got done with the other, I wasn't going to do it too. I had a, a very late lunch and realistically until probably the last half hour or so, most of that was froze down pretty good. It may still be. One year, God had been so nasty we didn't get the cow lot cleaned. And, oh, like we're the lower one standing. It was literally, would have been literally up to her belly, easily. And then it finally froze. And uh, yeah, the old man was still alive. We discussed what to do. I pretty much told him, you know, as wet as it had been, there's no way. Well, then it froze good. And by the way, that pile that was over there, there was between an inch and an inch and a half ice on top of that. And most of it wasn't near as thick as it was when it got pushed over there. But anyway, I set number one to work trying to clean in here. And this was froze. Couldn't get it off the floor. I got some of it. She didn't get any of it. And fired the traco up and brought it out here. And I proceeded to break it up so she could scoop it with a skid steer and get rid of it. I'm sure you got to get close to me and try to splatter me. I swear they got it in for me. Hi, Boomer. Hi, Minnie Moo. And there's Dancer. She don't have her tag no more, though. 
they stop in front of me. They don't want me to go anywhere. I must have missed Amy. She was by the water trough. She must have snuck in when I wasn't looking. And Minnie's probably expecting me to give her some scratchings or something. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's what she wanted. She just wanted some scratching. Jeez. Got a little caramel string coming. Yeah. That can happen anywhere from a few days to a few weeks before they're ready. I ain't gonna worry about that because she ain't looking like she's doing nothing yet. Yeah, well, there's still some hiding in the barn. They ain't too big of a hurry. They know it's early. Anyway, God, that's enough video, right? Work my way out of here on the on the high spots. So, hopefully, the rest of the year is at least as good as today. God knows we don't need the last few years, right? Just write those off the books. And Minnie was still standing there expecting me to go back in and scratch her. Just spoiled. Birdie Maze, what the girls call that one right there. And there's Leap and Lena. Little rip. She's one of the few that you gotta watch yourself with. And she was a show cow. Go figure. We had uh, had a cow years ago. We were cleaning barn, and when we were done for the day, we had put a bunch of new rock in here too. When we were done for the day, the tractors and spreaders were parked over in that corner or right along the fence. It was dark, and I just parked the last one, and I was walking across, just about right behind where Lena is, and it's dark. You can't see anything. Barn lights weren't on or anything. I get up here by the gate, and I can hear gravel behind me. I think that old cow was number 241, which we have another 241 now, so. But the kids were little, and that old cow, she hated everybody. I mean, we still worked with her all right, but she hated everybody. And she come up behind me, and I turned around, and she was like about two feet from me when I turned around. You'll see a cow anchor it. But uh, she and I, we'd had our little arguments before. And most of you know I wear a hickory shirt, blue and white striped work shirt. We got smart and got the kids hickory shirts when they were little. Because that cow used to charge the feeder. They'd be up above where we feed from and she would charge the feeder when they walked up there. And number one walks in there, she's like, I don't know, four or five years old. She walks in with that hickory shirt like daddy's just as proud as can be. And that cow takes about two steps toward the feeder and stops. She saw a hickory shirt. She wasn't going to challenge it anymore. So after that, when the kids were in the barn, we'd just say, hey, wear your hickory shirt. She'll leave you alone. And she would. She'd watch them. She'd move toward them, but she'd never get within about 20 feet of them. It was comical. So anyway, I guess that's enough story. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all survived last night into this morning. and Hope you've all had a good day.